Both the StarCat and the Dauntless Evaporator offer flat pan and divided pan options. This video will discuss those pan styles first. Afterward, we'll discuss the Drop Flu pan set. This pan style is available for Dauntless Evaporators. All right, it's Jim and Angela. We just filled our pan and feed pan with sap, and we want to show you the level assist feature, how we know that we've got two inches of sap in the pan. Yeah, so this happens, this unit happens to have a sight glass on it, but not everyone has that. Um, so you can see by the sight glass that we're at two inches or maybe just a tiny bit under two inches. Okay. And in the video, I'm afraid it might be hard to see, but we have the level assist on these pans and you can see the line actually formed on the outside of the pan. Well, you can see it equally well on the inside of the pan. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, it's going to be difficult with the... It's uh, hard in a video. Yeah, so with sure. a video it's tough. But um, back here, hopefully you can distinguish. Right here is the level assist, and the sap line is just about 3 sixteenths of an inch under that. Mm -hmm. So we can use that line in the pans to make sure that the pan is perfectly level as we fill it with sap. And... Um, we can use it as we're boiling if we don't have a sight glass. It helps us gauge how much depth we have in the pans. Although, when it's boiling, it's hard because... It's tough to see through the steam. It's and the tough boiling to discern and... what's going on through that um, vigorous boil. So. But when you're starting out, then you know it's two inches and that your pan is level so that it's consistent depth throughout the pan. That's right. Sweet. So being that the drop flu pan set doesn't have level assist, um, I'm going to show you some tips on how you can initiate your startup depth and try to maintain it. So if you don't have a sight glass, which this one, this one does have a sight glass, this has every option. It has the float box with the attachment hose. It has a sight glass. Um, if you don't have a sight glass, uh, what, I, what I start with is looking inside the divided pan. Uh, the front pan, the top of the transfer hole is about an inch and a half deep. So I would say as long as you're up above that transfer hole a little bit, that's a, a good guideline. And the drop flue pan, as the term applies, the flues drop down in, into the arch. They drop below the pan. So when we're talking about depth, we're talking about depth above these flues. Not, not, in, not starting from the bottom of the flue, but from from the top of the flue up, that's what we're going off of. And I know it's hard to see in here with the, all the mirror-like reflections and so forth. But in all cases, your feed pan that's feeding the drop flue pan needs to be full above this point here, above the, uh, the, the point where it feeds out of the pan. Um, there's multiple reasons that this feed pan exists and there's multiple reasons why the pan sits down on the arch rail instead of just on top of the uh, other pan. The dynamics of the drop flue force us to do that, um, and it is a good design. It does a tremendous job preheating. So there is also a drain here. That's for when you're done at the end of the boil or end of the season or, or what have you. You can drain this pan completely through this valve. This is the valve. In a practical situation, with a float box, this valve would be wide open. So your sap depth needs to be above this point, can be as full as the top of this pan. Um, so with, with the sight glass, of course, you have a major advantage. Um, when the sight glass is properly installed, you simply use this depth. As provided your arch is level, um, the sap represented, the depth represented in this tube represents the depth throughout. So this is a, a huge benefit on any evaporator, and this is an option on literally every evaporator and pan set that we offer. Bottom line, regardless what pan style you have, Always make sure there's sap in the pans before you light the fire. Then while you're boiling, it's good to maintain about a two inch depth. Maintaining depth will protect your pans and your syrup and help you boil much more efficiently. Please join us for chapter five of this video series as we light it up and start boiling. <laughs>